I think this might be my worst nightmare, finding more than 20 of these ball pythons in your neighborhood. That's what one St. Augustine neighborhood is dealing with right now. So neighbors say they don't know where these snakes are coming from, but Taylor Levesque investigates and is on your side explaining that experts say these snakes are not wild. FWC says these ball pythons most likely escaped or were someone's pet that was dumped here in the neighborhood. They say they are invasive and it has neighbors worried. And this is number 22 that we have found in a matter of four weeks. St. Augustine's Prairie Lakes neighborhood is crawling with ball pythons. We found them out on the main road a couple times. People under hood of a car down in the cul-de-sac and they're crossing the road. So people are stopping to try to not run them over. Vincent Myers says most are about three to four feet long and he's caught about 15 of them. Got an old paint roller on a grade stick with some tape. Once Myers catches the ball python, Sky Bennett with Jacksonville's Herpetological Society takes it away. Then I'll, you know, take him into the vet, get him looked at, make sure they don't need any medical attention, which a few of them have. Bennett says these aren't snakes you'd find in the wild or at a pet store. That one in particular looks to be an albino piebald got the white with the yellow top half and the red eyes. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission tells First Coast News the ball pythons likely escaped or are released pets. A lot of the snakes, their body conditionings are pretty thick and chunky snakes, so they were being fed well wherever they came from. FWC says its officers visited the neighborhood but have not yet figured out where they came from. So it is an animal neglect and animal cruelty to release these animals into the wild because the, the likelihood of them surviving is not high. Don't kill them. Call somebody who can grab them. Um, their lives matter just as much. Just because they're a little bit scary doesn't mean that they don't deserve to live. FWC says if you have a non-native species, do not let it loose. And if you come across one, to report it to its invasive species hotline. In St. Augustine, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.